You know, I'm 100% purebred South Sudanese. I, mean, I take pride in that. They're still fighting uh, different tribal wars, but um, it was basically the North Sudan versus South Sudan. This agreement has a lot of meanings. First, the war should come to an end by this declaration of ceasefire. Playing for a purpose. If it was a soccer ball, then we would be playing soccer. If it was a football, then we'd be playing football. But whatever it is, we're gonna do it together. Special Sudanese brotherhood where tribes do not matter. We are one, literally one nation. My ultimate goal is trying to get the NBA, you know, make a lot of money and then go back helping South Sudan, trying to build like a library or a school. Because I mean, I feel like education is the key. And uh, I mean, if the kids get educated back home, uh, it'd be a better place in South Sudan. Because right now, it's not. I migrated up north where, the, where it was safe, and that's where I was born. Then I moved to Egypt when I was one years old. And then when I was almost around three years old, I came to America through, through the UN as refugee. You know, I was born in South Sudan, uh, moved to Australia by around two or three years old. And, you know, just my family moved there just for, you know, there was a lot of war in Sudan. And they just wanted, wanted a better life for me and my siblings. And, you know, once we got to Australia in 2004, it was just, everything was brand new, you know, barely spoke any English, you know, in a new culture, new environment. And, you know, just kind of from there, you just had to go in, you know, went to school. And when I wake up, sometimes I'm just like, wow, like, you know, I woke up today, I'm in America, and it's just, even when I go through bad times, I just look at it like, there's a lot of guys that don't have this opportunity. So that's why I just don't take anything for granted, just being here. Like you said, it's, it's definitely unbelievable just to think, you know, I'm in the position I am right now. Right now, this is gonna be kids watching me from my city, Manchester. This kid, kid back in South Sudan, you know, like, yo, this is the first one from our tribe, South Sudan, Dinka Guard, to, to make it to the NBA. So it's, it's kind of a big deal to me. I make sure to uphold myself and represent really well. I have a lot of pride in my country, knowing that I have a bunch of family in Africa that just wasn't given the same opportunities as me. And I feel like that's how my journey started. It started with the opportunity, made the most of it. <laughs> 